Okay, so a few tips on gluing foam. Uh, the first thing is that basically foam reacts quite badly with super glue. And although super glue will stick it, if I give a quick demonstration like this, you can see that I can stick it together. But what you'll find, and you can see it beginning to happen, is these little bubbles are coming because it's basically dissolving the surface of the foam. Now I have put a bit of an excess in, but arguably if you put too little in, then it just doesn't stick at all. So you can see now it's almost boiling, and uh, if you were to touch this, it's actually quite hot. So although it is doing the job, it's also melting the foam as well. So that's only really appropriate when you've got a good excess of foam like this. If you had, if you had made a mistake in your model and you wanted to stick a little bit extra on, then I would recommend cutting back a substantial amount and then gluing on uh, a thicker piece, say of about 10 millimeters or half an inch, um, if you can at all manage to do that. If you do have the time, PVA does glue quite well, although um, you might want to get a scalpel and key the surface, just like this, which just means it binds a little bit better. And that's quite a useful technique in a, in a variety of materials to make sure the surface is rough if you're wanting two things to, to glue together. However, the final thing to say is that after quite a bit of research, there's actually someone who's developed a foam-to-foam, -foam, uh, but also for, suitable for wood and plastic glue. And this is particularly good in that it's essentially what's called high-tack and uh, it doesn't have the same sort of aggressive solvent nature, so it doesn't burn into the foam. So if you can get hold of this, if you're doing a lot of foam, then it's particularly useful, although it does take a little while to dry. Um, I have to admit though, I do tend to use a lot of super glue and just essentially use a, a, an activator, which is an accelerator, which um, impedes the dissolving into it. Um, although obviously, those, it, is, it is quite a toxic chemical, so to be used in a well-ventilated area. So there we go. Hope that's useful.